Linda from Melinda Orr Designs. Today's DIY project are a pair of hammered pink copper earrings. I'll be demonstrating the steps to create these rustic hammered earrings with pink beads from Sue Beads. I showed a couple variations. The piece we'll be making today is the square, but you can easily do a heart or a, an oval circle, anything you want. This technique will work with just about any of my blanks. So getting started, We'll need a bench block and we'll need a chasing hammer. We'll be using the rounded edge to make the divot marks in our copper square blank. <clears throat> so to start what I'll do is tap firmly through the center and then I'll work around the outside edges to give it a nice finished professional look. One thing I do like to do is not to hammer directly on the metal. I like to put a, a piece of paper towel down it, it actually, uh, for this project, makes the divot a little bit fatter, and I like that. I like that it kind of grabs the patina a little bit better. So I'm starting in the center. Trying to get even coverage so it looks balanced and there's not any uh, flat marks, just divot marks. And I just keep moving around. Till, till I get it the way I like it. And that looks pretty good. So now I'll work on the outside edges. Now if you see, it started to make a nice natural curve. I like the curve. I'm going to leave it that way. If I didn't want it curved, I could flatten it out, turn it over, upside down and flatten it out. But it actually looks pretty good just like that. <clears throat> So now we need to use our 1.8 millimeter hole punch and we're going to put a hole on the top and the bottom. And I like to put it um, about a millimeter from the top to the bottom from the edge and double check the edges to make sure it's not uh, scratchy and if it is you can take your file and just file them down. Okay, so now what we need to do, here's the earring we're actually going to be making and if you see it has a little flattened hammered edge and a wire wrapped top with a bead cap, a bead and spacer. <clears throat> and we'll be connecting that all to our hammered blank that we just worked on. So now what we need to do is make the flattened end for the earring. And what I'd like to do is take about a six inch piece, that's what we'll need for this project, and take the, the, the end, make sure it's nice and straight. This time we're going to be, instead of using the rounded edge to make the divots, we're going to use the flat edge to make it flat. And I like to just hold it as long as I want the widened part to be. Just firmly tap, you'll get nice and skinny, and then I flip the hammer over and just put little divot marks on that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just roll my wire up and I'm going to take my charm and next we're going to patina <coughs> these pieces. I use <coughs> patina gel. I have this on my site as well as the charms and the hammer and the bench block. <coughs> So basically what we're going to do is we've got about a half a cup of water, hot water, and we're going to put in two drops of our patina gel, stir, and it should have a nice light yellow color, that's what we're trying to get. From there, I'll take just an old piece of wire that I have laying around that has a little hook on the end and I put my charm on it, drop that in, starting to change, you can start, sort of see the, the change happening. There, we're going to put that back in. We're also going to drop in our wire. <clears throat> Just keep an eye on, I'm trying to get to a dark brown red color. Uh, you could go black and that would be fine. I personally prefer the, the dark red, the dark red brown 
over black with copper. I just think it's a more natural fit. Um, however, with um, brass or with sterling silver, black would be more appealing to me. But you can try it all different ways and see which way you like it the most. So this is getting to a nice dark color. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to go back and dip this to neutralize it. I'm going to dip it in water. Drop it on a paper towel. Then I'll take out my wire. Same thing, drop it in water to neutralize, drop on a paper towel. So now we've got our patinaed pieces. We're just going to um, dry them off first, paper towel. And then I take steel wool. This is my favor, my favorite way to, to bring color back in. Basically what we're doing is pulling off the patina, highlighting the metal back to a shine, and leaving some of the, the divoted areas dark to give it a nice contrast. And with the wire we'll just lightly just run over that, double check the edge. And now we're ready to start to form the drop part of our earring. So we need, now we'll need our wire, and on the end we're going to put in our spacer bead. And then our, bead, our pink bead. The pink bead's from Sue Beads, and uh, at the end of this segment I'll make sure I put a link to all of her wonderful glass, hand-blown glass beads. On top of that, we'll put a, a, a bead cap. I sell these on my site as well. And at this point, what we need to do is make a loop. I'll be using uh, needle nose, round nose pliers, excuse me. And I'm just making a partial loop. It's not wrapped yet or anything, it's just open. I'm going to add my square blank, hammer blank, on. I'm going to put the pliers back inside and we're going to actually um, just wrap around the edge. Now I like a big chunky uh, messy wrapping for this particular earring. It's, it's not a perfect pretty petite earring. It's a little more rough and rustic. So I'm just going to over wrap it a little bit and make it sort of chunky see that. And then we're going to just snip that in a nice spot where I think I can tuck it in and take my bent nose pliers. I'm just going to squeeze that end up under there. And at this point we're just about ready. I just want to double check see it's a little bent. I want to take the top, straighten that out. And that looks pretty good. So basically, this earring is done. We're just going to throw on the ear wire. Just open that end a little wide, threw it on there, squeeze it back. And a quick polish with my Shine Bright polish pads. This will make it look like it just came out of a tumbler. You can see how shiny it's getting. These, I sell these on my site too. These work great. This is all I use for my copper anymore. I don't use anything else. Um, I, you can tumble in stainless steel shot and that will leave some of your patina and it'll take some off. Um, I do like it. It gives it a nice shiny finish and another day I'll do a tutorial using, using my tumbler and showing you some different techniques. So here's your finished earring. Nice and shiny and pretty. One last look, you can take this concept and these ideas of how to create your own look with your own beads, if you make your own beads, and um, I like to buy artisan beads, there's wonderful artisans out here, 
uh, across the United States and in Europe. And uh, you should support them, buy their beads. Hope you'll stop by my Etsy site at www.ortec.etsy.com and visit my blog for lots of tutorials. I'll have picture tutorials and more video tutorials coming at www.ortec.blogspot.com. Thank you.